If you've never been to Adelaide Castle in Huntington Beach State Park this weekend, you can actually spend the night at the historic site. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live there in Merle's Inlet with the details on the Adelaide sleepover. Good morning. That's right. Super cool. You get to stay here overnight. Adelaide. You can even pitch a tent right here in the courtyard. Yes, you which can. Which is what we're doing this morning. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, you can bring your own tent. And if you don't have a tent of your own, we're, we have a whole loaner set. Oh, wow. Uh, we're more than happy to let you borrow one. Um, or you have the option of actually staying in the house. Um, so you can actually just bring like a little sleeping bag and sleep yeah. inside the castle? Exactly. Yeah, we, uh, we even have uh, some air mattresses you can borrow if you'd like. Uh, we're gonna, you don't have to worry about uh, dinner on Saturday night or breakfast on Sunday morning. We'll provide both of those. You guys are cooking out. Uh, mm -hmm. And along the way, we're going to be engaging in a lot of different fun activities. We'll have a big uh, bonfire going. We'll be doing some stories around the fire. Um, We'll also be doing a scavenger hunt throughout Adelaide. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, in addition to tours of the building, uh, we're even going to be doing an evening beach walk, so you get to explore the beach once the sun goes down. Uh, and then on Sunday morning, we'll be taking a wildlife walk. Uh, we get a chance to view alligators in the wild, uh, in addition to some of the other abundant wildlife that we have here in the park. Nice. All right, fine job. That tent hey, went up with a uh, very little problem there. I know. The, you know, if we were actually camping out, this would never happen. At least to <laughs> me, it would take a zillion tries. But very nice. Well, that's a lot of fun. And there, people can still get involved in this, right? There's still a chance. Sure. The, uh, we still have some openings. Uh, the, the quickest way to register is simply uh, call the gift shop here at the park. And that number is 237-4440. Uh, and you don't even need to bring your own tent. I love it, Crystal. Or your own food. Like he said, that is really cool, Amanda. All right, thank you so much. Adelaide Castle like you've never seen it before. Huntington Beach State Park Rangers hope you'll spend the night at the historic site this weekend. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live there in Merle's Inlet with details on the sleepover. She's already kind of getting the sleepover started, right, Amanda? Oh, yeah, we've already got our tent set up, and then nothing says camping out like making some s'mores, right? Exactly. It's yes. not camping otherwise, right? I love it. Yeah, that's one of the best things about camping. So you guys are going to make s'mores and tell stories around right. the Right. We'll be telling stories around the, the campfire. Um, ghost and, stories? Uh, a few ghost stories. Uh, not, uh, Unfortunately, not about Adelia. Um, you don't want to scare people. While well, the, the, here. the truth of it is, we just don't have the great. We don't have the great makings of a ghost story here. Um, you know, normally, you know, ghost stories revolve around someone living a life that was unfulfilled. The Huntingtons had the resources to do pretty much everything they wanted to do. Yeah, they, they had a pretty decent spot here. Right. Yeah. Right. They uh, they left the world a, a better place than they found it. They both lived to a, a ripe old age. So. Uh, and also, to our knowledge, nobody ever passed away here in Adelaide. So, uh, as much as I would like to tell you how crazy haunted Adelaide is, unfortunately, that would be a lie. <laughs> so, the next best thing is we do have uh, some great ghost stories of the surrounding area, like Gray Man and Alice. Oh, yeah. The Hag. So we'll sure. be telling those stories. Uh, we also uh, will have, some, I'm sure, somebody along the uh -oh. way will be breaking out a guitar and we'll be doing some songs around the campfire. Mine's charred. How's yours? Um, <laughs> mine's a little bit on the rare side, but I think it's pretty much good to go. Either way, they taste good, exactly. right? Exactly. And right. right over here, we've got our uh, other makings for the s'mores, your, your graham crackers and your chocolate. Sure, you got to have the chocolate, the marshmallow. Yeah. And then just kind of smush them all together there. there. No matter what, s'mores taste good. That's all I know. Yeah, it's it's a pretty much impossible to make a bad s'more, I, I think. I think so, too. Especially, see, I'm... I'm impatient, so I always have to catch mine on fire because I just <laughs> want to eat it. <laughs> Crystal, I don't blame you, Amanda. Breakfast of champions. Very fun. And you could just call the state park there if you want to partake in this weekend's activities. If you've never been to Adelaide Castle at Huntington Beach State Park, this weekend you can actually spend the night at the historic site. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live there in Merle's Inlet with the details on the sleepover. And Amanda, I think a lot of people think it's the Adelaide Castle, which I've been saying all morning, and I just learned it's Adelaide. Yeah, you talk to most people, you're gonna hear Adelaide, which is the southern pronunciation of it. Um, it's actually a Spanish castle, so if you pronounce it 
in um, Spanish, it's the Adelaya. Adelaya, yes, is a little, little closer to what, what uh, the proper pronunciation is. And, it, and that, of course, refers to the, the watchtower that we saw uh, earlier, uh, which is uh, in the central courtyard. Uh, truth be known, it was actually a water tower, provided water pressure for the building. Water tower, watch tower, eh, you know. <laughs> but right now, we're actually in one of the other really significant features of Adelaya, and this is the indoor sculpting studio. And this is where Anna Hyatt Huntington actually did a lot of her modeling and work. Uh, if you're not aware of it, uh, Anna was a world famous sculptor, and in fact, uh, her and her husband built Brooklyn Gardens, which is directly across the street from us. Which is incredible, and there are so many sculptures and whatnot over there. So exactly. that's pretty neat that mm -hmm. you can be in this room where she did her sculpting, and you can actually camp out in here. Yes, you, you, you could if you would like. We're also going to be doing some of our activities uh, on Saturday night. Um, this is uh, where we use uh, if we need an indoor space because of weather, and uh, we, we frequently do some games in here. Like last year, we did a nature and camping bingo in here oh, nice. as one of our other activities. Well, it's a great big space, and plus, we, people can learn a lot about the castle while they're here. Yeah, actually, you know, the Adelaide is actually a natural historic landmark. Uh, it's uh, the only example of Moorish architecture. Uh, or really a castle, as far as I know, that you're gonna find uh, in South Carolina. I yeah. mean, there's really nothing quite like this building. It's really beautiful, and you get the opportunity to stay overnight in here over the weekend. Pretty cool, Crystal? Very cool, phenomenal. It's really neat to see it sort of behind the scenes, especially at 6.20 in the morning. Adelaide Castle like you've never seen it before. Huntington Beach State Park Rangers hope you'll spend the night at the historic site this weekend. That's where we find WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzith live there in Merle's Inlet with D Details on the sleepover. That's right, and we've done a lot already this morning. We pitched a tent, we had a fire with some s'mores, we learned a little bit about the house, and now we're on a little scavenger hunt. That's right. Um, actually, uh, it's kind of a scavenger hunt that uh, also will show, tell you a little bit about the history of the building. For example, um, one of the periods of significance for Adelaide is actually the Great Depression. This building was actually built back uh, in the middle of the Great Depression. And in the process of it, the Huntington's actually provided uh, most of the employment in Georgetown County. And so uh, one of the things, we've kind of uh, incorporated that into the scavenger hunt. So it's an educational scavenger hunt. And it, it is, not every station is. Uh, some of them are puzzles, some of them fun. Uh, this particular one, uh, you're actually gonna learn about the unemployment rate during the Great Depression. So um, they start them off at the first station, we'll give them the room number. Every room in the building has a specific number and we'll give you the, the combination to the first one. So just go ahead and dial that in, open it up. Open up our chest here and take a look inside. Uh -oh. And what we're looking for. We need the for, magic keys to get yeah, into the chest. <laughs> we were just in this a moment ago. There we go. And in this particular one, there's a journal. And we pull that out. And uh, it's about unemployment during the Great Depression. And you have uh, in, your, in your little uh, guide that goes with the scavenger hunt. Uh, you've got an area to graph these, these numbers here of uh, the increase in the unemployment rate during yeah, the Great Depression. So you follow the clues, and if you pick right. the right answer, then it gets you on the right track to the next treasure and chest. Exactly. It's it just a lot of fun, and yeah. people can all do that this weekend at the at the camp out. The, right I'm here. sleepover. Yeah, yeah the sleepover. sleepover. Don't miss it. Yeah. yeah, how many times did you get to, you know, spend the night out at a historic site? So get the family together, the kids, they can have a little learning lesson there of our local history. Thank you, Amanda Kinzith.